Medical doctors, as well as the average individual, may have a powerful new ally in helping fight or combat rheumatoid arthritis. And this is actually a fairly common element, I should say, or plant compound, known as green tea. So let's go right into the research. And this is the researcher's words, not mine. Compound in green tea found to block rheumatoid arthritis. The research study was so pronounced, it's actually put it on the cover of Arthritis Rheumatology this February 16th, 2016. The citation title, which I'm gonna read real fast, and you'll understand why in a second. Regulation of transforming growth factor B activated kinase activation of epigallocatechin 3 gallate and rheumatoid arthritis, synovial, fib uh, synovial fibroblast suppression of K63 linked autoimmunation of tumor necrosis factor receptor associated factor 6. Henceforth, green tea blocks rheumatoid arthritis. So let's go right into the research. But before I begin, keep in mind this is an animal model. They're hoping that it carries over to humans, but in the animal model, in their words, it has been proven. Let us begin. The team evaluated a phytochemical called epigallocatechin 3 gallate EGCG, which is a molecule with anti-inflammatory properties found in green tea. Their study suggests that EGCG has a high potential as a treatment for rheumatoid arthritis because of how effectively the molecule blocks the effects of the disease without blocking other cellular functions. Henceforth, the nice safety profile. But exactly how effective was this in animals? Well, let us begin. The researchers confirmed their findings in a preclinical animal model of human rheumatoid arthritis where they observed that ankle swelling in animals given EGCG for 10 days was markedly reduced. The amount they gave them, I'll tell you in a second. This study has opened the field of research into using EGCG for targeting TAK-1, a little technical, an important signaling protein through which pro-inflammatory cytokines transmit their signals to cause inflammation and tissue destruction, especially in rheumatoid arthritis. So green tea may have many of uses in regard to reducing inflammation and a whole slew of other medical conditions. The amount they gave the animals, to so keep in mind, always consult your medical practitioner, before starting any sort of program, especially one like this. But the amount they gave their animals was 50 milligrams per kilogram over a 10 day period of time. Take a 150 pound individual and you do the math, you're gonna be a little over 3.4 grams uh, for like a 150 pound individual, or in this case, a 150 pound mouse. But that's to give you an idea. So green tea, extremely promising in regard to helping combat rheumatoid arthritis. And hopefully as time moves on, we'll see some nice human research in regard to this. This is Ralph Church Channel signing off once again, and thank you very much for listening once again. Catch you next time.